Hello, my people. Lady Rose from the United States of America here. All right, guys. I told you about the uh, J Chinese government visa, student visa applications. So there, uh, there is a, um, a visa program that uh, is uh, provided by the Chinese government for the African students to study in China. And uh, please note, with this Chinese student visa, you are not able to work. You cannot work in China. If you are going there for the undergrad, which is going to be four years, when uh, you're going to get your bachelor's degree. And uh, if you are going in for your master's, you already you have uh, your bachelor's from your country, from uh, one of the African countries. You are also eligible to go there for your master's or or if you already have your master's and want to go for a, um, a PhD or a doctorate uh, you are also eligible to get the visa through the Chinese uh, uh, government so the Chinese government is gonna pay for your schooling until you've graduate okay so every single thing free stuff like this comes with uh, requirements so here are the requirements. The requirements, you're gonna have a passport from your country. And uh, you are gonna have uh, two passport pictures with the passport, okay? You already have a passport with the picture and two extra passport pictures. And you have uh, two recommendation letters and those recommendation letters are going to be from your professors or from your teachers if you're just coming out of high school. All right. So get two recommendation letters from good teachers that you like in school there. They have uh, uh, some of those good ones always who like you if you are a good student. Uh, like uh, mine, I used to have uh, a headmaster who really liked me and uh, he would uh, advise me like uh, to be great because he thought I was super intelligent. Yes, so guys, you look for those teachers. Look for good teachers. Let them write some good stuff about you, saying you're a good mathematician or you're a good writer. And another requirement, you're going to have your English certificate because you're going to learn not in Chinese but in English. So there you got to have an English proficiency certificate. I don't know how those ones uh, happen, but uh, I believe there is something that can be done because this is kind of uh, coming through our government. So you can uh, call and ask the Minister of Education in your country. Uh, call them mostly they are in capital cities of uh, um, our countries in Africa there. You call the Minister of Education, ask him how you, you could uh, uh, get a English uh, certificate proficiency. And uh, that proficiency, English proficiency certificate has to be notarized. And the certificate, the, the, the diplomas, or the degrees, your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, your certificate from high school, all those are high school diploma needs to be notarized. Yes, you heard me right. You get those documents notarized with a, a, a minister of a, of the education. In their chamber, they know what to do. You call them and tell them, I need my degrees and my diplomas notarized by you. With that notarization, not, with that notary stamp on your degree, the Chinese government is not going to give you the, uh, their visa. They're not going to give you their scholarship. You, if you do have your transcript and it does do not have a, a, a diploma or a degree copy in your hands yet, the transcript is also acceptable with uh, the uh, stamp on it, uh, not notarized by the Ministry of the Education. Okay. Yes, and uh, uh, on top of that. There are no fees coming from your pocket. The only fees coming out of your pocket is the ones to buy your passport and all those stuff. Because your school, everything is going to be paid for by the Chinese government. Okay? 
I'm gonna reach my destination and then I'm gonna continue this video yes another requirement you gotta get a physical examination you gotta get examined by you guys uh, most big government hospital there the legit hospital don't go to those small clinics go get yourself checked from all the diseases and uh, they're gonna check that one uh, before you go there if you have uh, the one that is uh, past the year you can't use it but if you have an active one that you did ch get yourself checked in a year you can also use that which you know in Africa I have that we don't really get ourselves checked to that down there we mostly do that here in America or uh, I don't even believe it if people go in for yearly checks in uh, uh, Europe either but uh well that's a mostly American thing that you gotta go every year uh, for your job the job actually get pays for you to get yourself checked check your teeth check your eyes check your average thing <laughs> check your blood all those stuff so the um, Chinese government wants you to get checked and also the Chinese government wants you to write a CV the curriculum vitae for the people who never worked in, in their lives you just gonna write what you did in your life was basically going to school and the person who ever worked if you sold tomatoes you sold corn in on the cab around the corner there in, uh, on the streets you also put that one in your CV saying like you did do something and if you do not know how to write a curriculum vitae, call the Africa Charity here. We have uh, our email, which is uh, 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 Africa Charity TV USA at gmail.com. Africa Charity TV USA at gmail.com. We can help you write your uh, CV if you do need help with that. So remember, two letters of recommendations, notarized degree and diploma, uh, notarized uh, 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 transcript, a medical examination, CV, the curriculum vitae that you're going to write about your work experience. And uh, you're going to write a letter to the Chinese government. Tell them why you want to study that course and uh, how you're going to pass and uh, how good of a student you are. So you're going to write a letter basically to tell them I'm going to learn this agriculture wherever and I'm going to participate in the agriculture uh, sector in my country to help uh, 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 raise, uh, to help a farm for corn or whatever. Okay? So you elaborate some beautiful letter. You put that letter there. And if you can't really write a good letter, you can always find people write letters for you. And uh, like I said, there is an Africa Charity email there. You can also contact the Africa Charity to help you with that. And uh, last, you need to create a portal, a student portal, on uh, a web on their website. So the website that I was given right now here is for Shandong University, which is in China. And uh, this link is going to be in uh, the description box. And it's also going to be in my first uh, uh, actually um, a comment uh, under this video. you got to find the link. And there's Shandong University. There is a portal where you can go there and pick and choose wherever course you want to sign up for. But this is like a last thing to do before you have like a assembled all those other documents you have uh, uh, you have all those other uh, requirement uh, required documents together before you even create that uh, uh, portal on uh, that uh, website there and there are more and I'm gonna find more information and I'll bring it here for you all guys okay yeah so tell the Chinese government in a beautiful letter where you want to study and why you studying it and um, and why you are a good choice for the program and uh, if you have your brother your sister it's time to connect yourselves here yeah go to school study for free and good luck to y'all and this is for academic year 2024-25 the application is open right now 
So click the link and uh, go on there and start registering, put everything together, talk to your daddy, and uh, go to um, um, Chinese Embassy to get all those ones here uh, to deposit your uh, uh, letters and uh, your applications and uh, your passport so you could get qualified for the visa. But I told you all the qualifications are the requirements here. So those requirements, if you satisfy them, you're good to go. All right. So good luck to your kids. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.